Hello everyone, this is Eva Tatarova, Chief Manager of SR Teaching and Learning. Welcome everyone to the sixth uh, webinar in SR Teaching and Learning series of webinars brought to you by the SR Teaching and Learning team. I just wanted to start by saying a big thank you to all of you who have taken the trouble to write to us about our weekly webinars, courses, our workshops, um, that you enjoying them and finding them helpful. Thank you. So this is a series of webinars where teachers from all over the world are able to share their ideas and resources that can be used in your classrooms. Um, I do believe that it can be rather overwhelming to decide what is particular practical for one teacher and what is not. Uh, so this is a spot where teachers can come together and share their thoughts and ideas on different teaching aspects. Um, as far as you know, SR Teaching and Learning provides active learning opportunities um, for teachers across the globe. And I'm super excited that this coming Wednesday, November 25th, we have uh, the opportunity to deliver the workshop to EFL, ESL teachers across the globe. And I'm pretty sure that the that almost every teacher has had an idea to get a certain solution or a certain case which may ease your teaching life, save your time and help achieve better results. And here it is. This workshop is the magic wand and you, that you were looking for. This workshop is for anyone who's in search for an extra idea of bringing authentic materials to your lessons or for anyone who has an idea but still doesn't know what to do next and what should be done in order to get the most of it. So I guess in some way right now I'm saying that I think this class is for everybody. So this workshop is aimed towards equipping teachers with effective and practical ingredients of teaching and learning. This two-hour workshop on Zoom is focused on integrating media literacy in the ESL and EFL classrooms. So make your lessons fantastic. By the way, this is a question. Are you always satisfied with your lessons? Have you ever experienced that feeling like I'm in their own movie? Call the producer, call the director. This is not my lesson. So what happened? It's like you spent your entire evening planning, planning the perfect lesson. Uh, the next day, you teach the lesson to your students following all the guidelines of the teaching and learning process. However, it is still ends up being a dud. Your list lesson didn't connect with your students like you anticipated. If your answer is yes or just or you anticipate that it may happen to you one day, come join this workshop on Zoom and get a hook and use this hook very next day. This is the case study workshop and it will be delivered by an amazing teacher trainer, Natalia Djechuk from Ukraine. It's just, are you going to take an action? I promise, no fluff, no long stories, just practical and provoking instructions for creating amazing lessons based on media literacy and modern information. So participate in the workshop. Then close your Zoom and begin to apply these instructions and you'll see miracles happen in your classrooms. So more importantly, by the way, you will have the knowledge to move forward with designing engaging lessons. And again, it just, are you going to take an action? By the way, another thing that I'd like to share with you is that, um, yeah, guys, yeah, this one. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So another thing I'd like to share with you that this is another great course, like IELTS instructor course. You will definitely experience the transformation as a result of taking this course. Yes, we know that each time when you hear the word course, you feel just like extra work, but this course is not just extra work. It's a solution. It's your solution. With this course, you'll be taking on a transformational journey. Just grow behind your career dreams. Get the strategies, get resources, 
get coaching, you need to prepare your IELTS candidates effectively in order to diversify your income and to continue to grow your career as an IELTS pro. We all know that every great course has a great premise. So we are actually proud of ours because our graduates do get results. Most IELTS instructors believe that the key to preparing IELTS candidates is in um, giving your students enormous number of tasks, learning tremendous amount of vocabulary, listening to different podcasts, and just speaking about everything and nothing as much as possible. But we believe that the key to preparing IELTS candidates is to teach them the concrete strategy that stands behind each and every IELTS task. That is why the course tutor, Mr. Samad Samadov, designed this unique IELTS course, which reveals tons of specific strategies and techniques. And these strategies and techniques allow instructors to prepare their candidates successfully and um, as a result to make a difference. So in this course, you're going to learn exactly the structure um, and the core strategies to deal with each particular problem that IELTS candidate may face. So you will be acting as an instructor as well as a candidate to check out how everything works in real time so that you can elevate your teaching skills, attract more candidates from any country you'd like to, and of course to command financial breakthrough as soon as possible. So what's inside the course? Of course, you're going to have modules on all the skills as well as on IELTS vocabulary, and you will be cracking each task together with the tutor. So you will be designing your lesson plans with highly productive procedure. And what is more, once you complete the course, you will get the access to all the materials you need to start preparing your candidates the very next day. There you will find everything you need, and it will definitely save your time and money as all the materials are packed into folders. Uh, what you will have to do, just go there, check out what you need and use it. Yes, the course will 100% prepare you for teaching IELTS, IELTS candidates. Everything is included. You don't have to figure it out yourself. You don't have to Google and spend your priceless time. You just get this methodology and strategies and you just learn from the pro. We teach you a skill, you'll be able to take and earn more and more because it is an investment in yourself, because you're really going to go deep at a pro level. This is not a pre-recorded course. Actually, guys, Zoom platform will be our digital home during two course weeks, and you're more than welcome to join it. Uh, actually, you've already asked us a lot about different feedbacks on this course, and I prepared one for you. This is the feedback from Ukrainian teacher who is actually our graduate and certified IELTS instructor. Hey, it is. Hi, everyone. My name is Olga Dan. I'm from Lviv. More than a month ago, I completed the International IELTS Instructor Course organized by SR Teaching and Learning. This is a unique opportunity to dive in the world of international examination, where you will be trained how to prepare your students for taking IELTS effectively and getting the highest score. The course comprises eight days of study, dedicating an equal amount of time to each language learning skill. During the course, you will deal with tasks and test analysis, a bunch of practical ideas to exploit, section strategies, and materials development. Besides, at the end of the course, you will get four gigabytes of efficient preparation materials shared by the trainer. Don't miss the opportunity. The number of seats is limited. Yes, yeah, that sounds great. So I do hope that you're inspired to take this course and I will be more than happy to see you there. Yeah. So actually, if you want to stay tuned, just join us on Instagram. As you can see, our Instagram page is as, um, at sr.teaching. There you will find tons of materials as well as lesson plans, different ideas that we can just chat we can discuss anything you wish 
I mean everything that connects with teaching and learning. And here we are. So this is the main reason why we are here. Project-based learning. And let me introduce our speakers. So firstly, let me present Karima. Hi, Karima. Hello. Karima, can you hear me? Hello, our presenters are from Morocco. And yeah, hello, Fatima. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. How are you today? How is Morocco? Hello, everyone. Yeah, I can see your comments now. Hello from San Lorenzo, Ecuador. Happy to hello. see you here. Hello from Azerbaijan. Yes, you, Pam. Yeah, hello from Puerto Vecho. Hi. Yeah, hello from Bulgaria. Super. I'm really happy to see you here. The whole world, as usual, is here. So, ladies, I hope you're ready to present your webinar and to share those practical tips and tricks and techniques you promised. So, I'm looking forward to hearing everything and just I'm ready to take my notes because I'm pretty sure that it will be really helpful and hands on. Yeah. So, should we start? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Hi from Palestine. Yeah, guys, it's amazing. Hi. Yeah, so um, I'm going to share your screen. Yeah, Fatima, can you make it in a presentation mode? Okay. Hi again. Hi. Hi, Alexandrina. Yeah, here we are. So I'm giving you the floor and see you later. Okay, then good evening, good, uh, good afternoon, good morning, hello everyone, happy to meet you today, I hope you are doing well and stay safe, this is Fatem Zahra from Morocco, an LT teacher, happy to meet you and thank you Eva for this opportunity and we will be very happy and <laughs> can't wait to share my experience with you and to talk about some relevant and effective way of making your teaching online either you are teaching online or offline or you are managing your situation somewhere somehow today we are going to talk about how to make it in this era of corona 19 effective that's why we choose today to talk about our topic which is uh, PBL or project based learning as an effective and joyful space for uh, deep learning and uh, prerequisites in 19 in COVID-19 era, we do have it before, but today we feel that we are in need of it. Then today we are going to talk about some reflections during this uh, period of teaching. Uh, we are also going to talk about the utility of PBL and we will share and cascade expertise about some activities that we are working with, like videography, like digital storytelling, like drama and online exhibition. Then just stay with us, we have a lot to share with you a lot of workshops, a lot of websites, free resources for you. Uh, if you want to read more about it, we can have it just in the reference. Okay, now let's just start with our reflection. And you know that during this era, we are all facing some particular situation. Now, one thing that I want to start seeing that maybe we are all keeping social distance, yet we should emotionally stay close. It's an, a human essence. We need to think of it. Then how we ever think, how can we build that sense of belonging in our activities? Now, what we've been doing in our schools, can we just do it in our online schools? That sense of belong that we want to have it, that uh, collaboration, leadership, if we think of activities can do this then today we am going to talk about first of all how to motivate your students how to create the need for that online course then why i choose to talk about maslow pyramid before bloom pyramid now we do think that it's amazing to go all the steps of teaching and learning and know that steps but yet, we need to think of the well-being. We need to think of the psychological need, the safety, especially in this period. Then that's why I here I'm sharing with you, and I hope that you write 
in the chat box or your point of view you share the same point with that you have in such situation then nothing nothing now if i am to reflect on this nothing is going if uh, this time has shown anything it is that nothing is as it was everything is changing that we need to reimagine everything then if we now, now, if we are keeping distance, and if we are no, uh, teaching in a different way, if we are wearing masks, nothing is, uh, is just as it was, then we cannot no longer go to school with the same mentality, with the same pre perspective and views. We need to change, and that's why I talked to you about this uh, Bloom, uh, uh, sorry, Maslow Pyramid, and we take care and create the need for the course and think of the students and try to find activities that tackle this point. Again, we are, when we go online, are we just going to do what was done in school is going to be done uh, at home? Is that the real meaning of flat learning as the pedagogical support of what we are doing right now? Now, that's going to be the next reflection what we are not flipping the class but we are flipping with the learning what does it mean here to flip the learning it's not just that you are going to do the activities online and it's over now we are need to focus on the the process of learning in general should be done by the learner and then here it creates some problems because when we were working in a, in, uh, in the school we have teaching at home there are parents then we need to know what level what kind of task to give to the students and that's why again with that bloom taxonomy this time i try to flip that bloom taxonomy now there are things to focus on now we have before the class now we have activities for remembering and understanding then these are the kind of tasks that we can give our students so that we can maximize the time of our online learning and can give more, more uh, many time to uh, practice analyzing evaluation and these are the activities and the skills of the 21st century that we are in need of and that we should take care of them then here well, you know that we are dealing with many difficulties, uh, especially with technology. But another reflection, and the last one is going to be about the use of technology. Is it that fine to I mean, we talk again about the flipped learning? Is it that fine that just to work with the Zoom with small children and unmute them and let them waiting for you to finish? Are there other ways to work with them so that they can participate? Because we know it's not the, the, the fact that you are using technology, but it's how effective you are using technology. We need to ask that question. Why? What? Why and how? And here I would like to share with you Bloom again, digital testimony. This time we are to know it's no matter that you are using cows but why you are using cows and why you are using it and for what purpose then we should know to go through all the steps of teaching and learning but with a um, uh, realistic and an effective use of technology an effective use of technology that is determining and if i am to sum up all my reflection today and i as i have uh, said this time if it has shown something, it is that everything is changing. We need to re-image. We are in front of what uh, some kind of new pedagogies, some kind of new changes in collaboration and leadership. And of course, some kind of uh, changes in the economic and i know that i'm not the right one to talk about economic but you it seems that there is a crisis then what have we done to our students to prepare them for what before what after sorry COVID 19. then there is an amazing link that i will share it later about all these things it's the new and, and i will read this quote from that amazing book the new pedagogies require students to create new knowledge and connect it to the world by using the power of digital tools then we are to use this digital in a very productive way with with students very productive way and that's why which is the topic of today which is pbl project based learning it's what make you really talk about this the sense of leadership of collaboration and uh, we can use it online with many platforms with many uh, 
digital application with the many activities. And that's what I'm going to give the floor to the amazing Karima, my friend here, to talk to you about the utility of PBL. Yes, Karima? Hello, everybody. I am thrilled to be uh, presenting with my collaborator and friend, uh, Fatim Zahra. Uh, thank you, Eva, for um, giving us the opportunity to share our experience and our know-how, uh, especially in this time of crisis. We need to uh, cross boundaries of um, the curriculum and of the traditional teaching and learning. It's high time we try to uh, integrate uh, our students into um, their learning, uh, allow them to uh, make their voices heard. So uh, for, for us, the use of PBL does not only uh, give students the opportunity to try uh, new methods, it's also good for their well-being. And they are very important to also include our uh, students in their activities to feel a sense of belonging, uh, especially in activities that, that are meaningful to them. So, there are many definitions that define project-based uh, learning, and there is um, always um, a confusion between uh, project-based learning and problem-based learning. So the focus today is on project-based learning. So according to our reflection, pro project-based learning, in fact, is, um, uh, first of all, it uh, targets one theme. You can choose one theme, for example, uh, school. Uh, we can ask students, for instance, at the beginning of the year, uh, what do you think of school? What does school mean to you? And then let them uh, reflect and express this in uh, a small scale projects, short term projects, and then they can draw or can write paragraphs. And uh, after, for example, uh, a week, they can uh, present it. So there is, there, this is one way. Uh, projects based uh, learning is very important because they are engaging, amusing, they uh, especially uh, promote uh, collaborative learning and exchange of ideas between students. In uh, project-based learning, the teacher is a facilitator. So it gives you, uh, as teachers, uh, the, the, the opportunity to uh, allow your students to express themselves freely. You are there uh, a facilitator, someone who orients them and uh, make them feel a, a kind of um, a freedom and uh, have the opportunity to, to say their word, to say their things. So uh, it's very important because the, um, the project-based learning allows uh, your students to be creative, uh, to be innovative is important also because this allows you to, br to build bridges of um, a positive relationship between you and your students. Uh, something else, it's, it's important because it encourages uh, them to be uh, socially uh, interactive, especially for the students who don't feel self-confident or don't feel uh, belonging to the classroom. So this uh, project-based learning theme uh, allows them, or it is a space that allows them to, to know each other better. Uh, it also allows them to develop 21st century skills, uh, such as taking initiative, um, uh, critical thinking, thinking about um, their lives, also, uh, we have to be careful, the themes, the themes that we choose to work around have to be meaningful to the students, things that belong to them, like their hobbies, like their environment. Yes? Uh, I'm sorry, there, there are voices, I can't hear. Uh, there are... 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yes, yes. Okay, so uh, the the also allow it also allows the students to um, uh, to be creative to create uh, um, uh, a final product. So uh, as a summary, uh, projects based learning depends on uh, the level of students' flu fluency in the language, uh, their learning conditions, so you can adapt to learning conditions. For example, a reason, then you can, we can work uh, using paper, using drawing, using, using painting, using other means. So uh, it's also... also uh, help you um, reduce the pressure of doing the same things every day. Now, one of the examples of uh, project is bibliography. So, for example, you students to do a film. Uh, uh, a short video that expresses, for example, their dreams or uh, in which they, uh, they film their school and talk about their school. Or, for example, um, uh, film themselves playing their favorite sport, like football, for instance. Uh, videography makes them feel like filmmakers. The, uh, it can uh, make them, um, uh, give them the opportunity to be creative and um, hear their voices. And what is very important is that... Karima, I'm very sorry. Karima, can you hear me? I'm very sorry for interrupting you. ...for them to do the work uh, presented and encouraged, promoted by and exhibited uh, from our uh, students. Uh, integrating a number of skills and teach grammar, for example, via the video uh, taping, like, I don't know, I was rich, I would, and then they can express this in, expresses this in uh, uh, pictures, in motion pictures, and they will make them feel like professionals. So, um, geography is really uh, good because it gives a visibility, it provides visibility of students' work and boosts their self-confidence, uh, uh, it boosts their imagination and focuses on their voices and also on collaboration between students and also teachers. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Fatam Zahra will uh, talk about the technical tools that we can use uh, within uh, project learning uh, digitally. Thank you so much for your attention. So I will leave the floor to Fatam Zahra. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. It's clear? Yeah. Okay. That here we are going to leave the, that tips of sharing toward the end so that we can finish just what we have here in the slide. Now, uh, these are some links that you will find them just in the chat box about how are you going to make your your uh, video maker project uh, online and we will share uh, them later. Then the idea is that you what we've been talking about is really uh, concrete in that project. Now here, when you ask, for example, a student, and this is one example of our students, when you ask them to, to, to for example, to bring a picture of their school and start, uh, uh, I think the video is not going to be okay, but no harm, uh, to bring a picture of their school and start filming a video about their school. Then here you are uh, creating the sense of belong to world school via that project and we're working it just with elementary students and this project it goes just fine with the intermediate students with university students and even the uh, Trini teacher students the, all of them like the area 
Now, one other project that we want to share with you is the digital storytelling. And again, let me just tell you something about digital storytelling. It's storytelling, in fact, our life is a story. When we go for Facebook to Facebook, we look for stories. WhatsApp, we look for stories. Instagram story. When you stand up in the morning, we tell a story. Our innate conversation is a kind of a story then the storytelling is an activity that is so amazing if you try it in your class especially if with that uh, that uh, era where we need to listen from each other and when we need to stay connected and emotionally closed now uh, i have to we have tried this uh, story in many works of shop sorry with the mini uh, levels and it works just fine and here i'm going to share sh some tips how are you going to teach the storytelling in your class now the first one is the magic books and this is not only for storytelling but even for whatever vocabulary you want to present you just when you say magic books and if you have a magic book in the class the the real situation or online and you tell them you know what they have in this magic book and you start taking out the cards that you made then here the all the students are listening to you are, are so excited and they are they want to know what is the next word and this is just one funny way of presenting vocabulary next you will put the same cards and we are all the time preparing our cards you will prepare the same cards in the books and you ask them again guess what is it and you show them the same cards but this time with no title to check their understanding it's just an amazing activity that it works just fine in your classes and you can work it online also or hybrid if you are working in the class you may ask a group of students to check the to show for example a clear card and you ask the other just to go and uh, say the name in the chat books and this is just one funny way of working with the dream books uh, sorry with the magic books and also you can check the and the nice uh, game that we do with the you you put again that uh, cards that you are we are all doing you put it in that magic books and you start asking your students what i'm going to take out and this is the best way to memory. They start telling all the words that were presented and it works fine And one step of presenting vocabulary without knowing that they are learning vocabulary or presenting vocabulary. Next, you can go further, further in this uh, presenting uh, your storytelling by retelling yourself your story. And believe me, the most famous speech all over the world start with one step at a time or oh, let me tell you a story all the tips start with telling you let's tell you a story then whenever you start telling the story all that energetic classroom and all that interaction turn down to a calm classroom it's the best way for class management and try it and it works very fine now here you can not only teach you this night and you check the wrestling now you can just doubt those activities that you put on the cards and you are going to tell them put those cards in the chronicle order in the story again you can give them uh, activities now these are some uh, designed uh, cards that we worked on and we will share uh, i know that everyone know canva they are just amazing to share to write them and the, by the way we are not just presenting words but structures and everything that you can present uh, uh, implicitly without talking about meta language or anything also you can work for a uh, writing activity and that's a uh, picture that you see here was a workshop with Trinity teachers and it was so so funny to ask them what's the diamond for you because this the story was i have got a diamond and everyone is going to talk about himself um, the diamond is my son or herself the diamond is my beloved my family and so on and you can move from this children toward the uh, advanced people talking about storytelling and people will just enjoy it you can just ask them imagine another end for this storytelling and here you are doing that uh, uh, writing task you can also tell them to and the, by the way you can work high in a hybrid way by asking the students in the classroom to 
for example, to write an, an, an introduction for the story and those one who are following you online to write an, uh, an, intro, an, an uh, closing for the story. Also, you can uh, uh, just teach the language implicitly because that sentence was in the story that if I had a diamond, I would. And then you just put it on the board and you ask them, if you had a diamond, what would you do? Then they are going to start, if I had a diamond, I would buy something and you change if i have a car and it works so fine you can also exchange it to a very nice activity which is uh, the chain story and you divide the can your class in a hybrid uh, if you are working in a hybrid way and you divide your class to those one who are with you in the class and you tell them you are going to start with f if i had something and the other are going to write in the chat box and i'm going to show you an activity and uh, an application how to organize your classroom if you are working in just a way now storytelling is something just fine to to work with it also there is another project uh, uh, which is art and drama uh, online exhibition now the idea here can you karima talk about it yeah uh, thank you fatim zahra well uh, in fact, we uh, have started uh, trialing these uh, activities uh, for years, uh, but uh, in response to the pandemic, we have uh, uh, started trialing um, them in different ways and, uh, and expanding the experience. Uh, so uh, the idea is uh, instead of uh, teaching a grammar for instance or reading in uh, using the, uh, the whiteboard or using um, any other uh, digital tool uh, we can uh, for example uh, suggest um, uh, to our students to listen to a dialogue or may and, and later they can make their lines and then come and present them um, and record uh, their voices. It is really funny and amazing uh, to see the students engaging and uh, trying to act uh, their roles. And this is uh, quite beneficial for uh, acquiring vocabulary, uh, for, for uh, learning how to pronounce uh, well. Uh, it is also socially engaging. And uh, in fact, we don't we don't feel time. It's it's really um, amazing. Um, also, we, um, we we encourage them to draw. Uh, uh, to draw, uh, for instance, if we are learning um, a, a new vocabulary about, uh, for example, family tree, they, they draw their family uh, trees, and uh, we ask them to to use their imagination. And you are really amazing and creative. I am Fatemza always surprised by the the really uh, the great creativity of, of our students especially those who uh, seem to be unmotivated or um uh and, and interested once uh, we uh, we do these activities they engage to the full and their uh, motivation uh, increases so um and then uh, through these tools uh, like Trello, for example, we can uh, organize an exhibition of their works, of their products, and this makes them happy and uh, makes them want to learn more. And they cannot wait to attend our classes. This is amazing. So, as we said, we can use uh, the exhibition as the exhibition of the final products of, of the projects that starts with the tree green uh, activity like uh, a song for instance or a little drama and then uh, link other activities or other lessons to them and then uh, uh, celebrate the achievements of our your students uh, with uh, the exhibition uh, a digital digital exhibition and you can also uh, do um, a real exhibition in your classroom or at school. It is really can we show Yes, Karima. Can we show yeah. them an example if it works again? Can we show them an example yeah, of yeah, that? Exactly. We will, we will be happy to share uh, examples of our great and creative and 
clever students. Voice for Tanzara. Tanzara, can you activate the sound so that they can hear our music as well? Ladies, sorry to say we can hear the sound of this video. You want to hear the sound or shall I turn it off? Turn it on, please. Okay. So we can start from the beginning, Fatim Zara. Uh, but we still can't hear anything. Yeah, we can't hear anything, Fatim Zara. It's okay? No. No. Yeah, so I think we should continue because we can hear the sound. Okay. Okay, this was just one example. Uh, uh, was it clear? Okay. All right, so there is another example. Okay, the idea here is that the, just those papers who the students bring it to you, then we are thinking of how can we manage this situation? How can we have creative idea? Now it's just they are working and I'm going to share with you the application with what they are uh, making that galleries. And we are just making an art exhibition for students. Now these are Karima students and my students and we make them in a Zoom session and everyone is sharing his... Uh, uh, drawing. Okay, the, I think that we come to the last uh, thing, uh, which is Kyoreni uh, sharing. We are going to start sharing with you some uh, um, links and platforms where we, we can develop digital storytelling or you work on uh, other uh, uh, other activities. Now here are some um, some uh, reference if you want just to read more about it and I'm going to stop the sharing of my uh, presentation and then we go back to share with you uh, yeah yeah uh, I need to share uh, um, information about XC yeah well yeah I know I know uh, I'm going to share my screen Okay, is it clear now? Yes? Can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, we can see it. Just you yes. can open the application you wish. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, I think I need to write my password here for that uh, application. And this is one application of making storytelling, uh, making a digital storytelling. Um, you need to have an account.
Okay, then I uh, wait for it uh, to work. I see if it, uh, it works here. It was open, I don't know what's happening. Now, this is amazing uh, website. It's called Storyboard Bird. Now, it's where you can make your stories. You are just to discover it. It's very amazing. Three options here that uh, you make. Uh, you can work on it with your students. And I'm going to show you just you can work, go online for uh, Because when you want to, to publish your uh, design story, then you, you go. Uh, you need to to, um, to pay now. There are some free options like the one that I am showing you. It's you can just draw. You have got here the pictures. You can just draw a picture here, and you start writing whatever you want. It's creative. It makes you to think of many nice things. And this is one of the story that we've been talking about. It's how to make uh, storytelling. Then if you want, it's just to. You go through. Uh, you go through the next step, and you say just once upon a time, and you start telling you and writing your story with very creative way, and it works so 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 fine. And it uh, also your students can go there and start writing their stories, and it's very very fine. Now the next thing that I want to share with you, and that I'm sure that that is Kutufunia. Uh, and so uh, maybe some net connection because I'm opening many windows. Now this is uh, just an application. You can have it on your mobile phone to make your gallery. For example, we choose here museum, and to make your gallery appear so well, so fine. And just those people that the students have take a picture of them and make their exhibition online and with music, with remixing. Now here we are talking. We were talking about groom, and we, are, we were talking about that high scale. When it, high scale with tech, the digital bloom technology touches creation, remixing sounds so and creating video, then here you are at the high level and you are creating something different for your students. Also, I'm going to share with you my Padlet. You will find it in the chat box. Now, there you will find the whole package about very uh, uh, many uh, many workshops that we've been working with uh, teachers and trainee teachers. Now you go through that if you want to know about uh, flat learning, if you want to know about MOOCs, if you want to know about uh, um, if you want to know about the pillar of flat learning and many 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 things here. How to make uh, videography again? There are many resources here, and I would like to share with you one uh, workshop that was with Rero, and it is just amazing. And this um, this is a website, and I'm going also to share it in the comments in the chat. Box. Now this that is just amazing for teacher. Uh, it was uh, held in Morocco here. And uh, it's just an uh, amazing thing. Here you will find everything you are uh, as, a t as a teacher seek. Now, if you want to read about uh, flipped learning, there are lots of things from TCL six principles. Then you can read about the flipped learning. You can know how to create a video with free resources in sounds. And you can also go for Canva and subscribe as a teacher and have your uh, uh, course there. Now, uh, here I'm going to share with you in just something which is important, and I've talked about it, how to manage your classroom if you are working online and uh, uh, offline. Then how are you going to put just to your students? Now, these are something for flat learning if you want to just to, if you want to, uh, if you want to, to, to work on it, uh, then you go here to prepare your, uh, you go here to prepare your, uh, I think uh, it's plucked here, but uh, you just click on this to prepare your, uh, your, uh, you, to prepare your lesson plan and how uh, uh, your uh, your the shape of your classroom and so on. There is another thing which is very amazing about it also, which is um, 
laboratory here, listening laboratory free for uh, resources and full of resources. Also, we have some TED Talks that are very famous. And we have some printable worksheets if you want to work in a flat way, did some lesson plans also. And there is something very important and a new trend in teaching grammar true listening, it's a hazard laboratory again for the grammar. And if you want also to make your flash digital or your bingo, you can just go here to find that amazing things uh, that you can work with. Now we have here a lot of amazing things that you can work with. Start making your own digital flashcards, uh, the same like what we've been working. Now the flashcards that we have been uh, preparing, we've uh, done them with Canva, I think that you know them. You know this website, sorry. You know it's now uh, Canva is just a seat for designing, and it can work just very well for your project if you are making a project uh, in the classroom. Now it works just fine, and it uh, there is a problem in that connection again. Okay. Now also in the same website you can go for uh, Quizlet. There is a direct link to Quizlet if you want to prepare your. Uh, I, I know that. Uh, most of us are preparing their quiz lessons. It's uh, in the same uh, website. And also, now here, uh, especially for those who are teaching English for specific purposes, you will find many, very, very many and very funny things there to prepare. It. You need just to subscribe. There is a direct link in the website, and uh, we would like to thank Rilo for giving us this, uh, training, uh, and uh, we're really happy to work uh, with them. And also, uh, there is something about the um, how to manage your projects. Now we are working with Trello because if you work in many projects in classroom, you need to go. Uh, you need to, to have. Uh, you need to organize your job. Now this is, for example, uh, a painting show uh, project. Now we I I just uh, uh, give the. For some students who are a little bit advanced in technology to enter there and to start talking. Now we do have many other clubs here in uh, within uh, uh, within uh, the same uh, uh, within the same account just to organize your work. This was a uh, for videography club or other clubs that uh, uh, that you are having in your class. Okay, I would like now here we have uh, the uh, drama club and we have uh, the painting show and the videography club. Now again in the videography club, those students are responsible for remixing sounds, for shooting uh, pictures and they are just uh, organizing their job here. And I would like also to share with you something very amazing. Uh, if you want to have some bad breaking news and uh, maybe some other many people know about it, um, now everything are uh, I, I make links uh, and attachments to every link here. Now here, what's imp the importance of this that you are working with levels. You choose your level and you match it with the activity that you are working. There is another exciting uh, beside the uh, beside the listening lab uh, that we have here. There is another exciting laboratory and which is uh, lies. Lesson wise, and what is uh, what is relevant about this uh, lesson wise, you can find the recent uh, the recent uh, events. You can talk about uh, Trump refused to can see the election and everything that is so recently, especially uh, if you are in media. Then we have a lot of things, and we have something very very important. Uh, we want to, uh, to share it with you, and Karima is going to talk. Okay. And I hope that you join it and you uh, uh, be connected to that networking. Yes, Karima. Uh, thank you, Fatem Zahra. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Last year, last year I had the pleasure uh, to uh, present at ICSI. ICSI is the acronym, uh, acronym of. Uh, the International Congress for School Effectiveness and Improvement. Uh, last year it took place in Marrakesh and it is really amazing. I, I would like to invite you to attend uh, this conference. So here um, is the website. So last year it was great. It is a great um, a sphere where practitioners, policymakers, researchers from the globe make experience uh, to make uh, voices of teachers on all the 
um, the people uh, linked to education um, say they say, say this year XE is going digital. So it's going to take place uh, in March, uh, 7th and 8th March, and then uh, 18th and 19th March. So there is the website we will, uh, that we will share with you. So it, it is a great opportunity to meet all these practitioners and uh, listen to their presentations. Um, XC is um, uh, this year uh, taking place under the big theme uh, crossing boundaries and uh, building bridges uh, of, of course, bridges of collaboration between uh, practitioners and researchers worldwide. Thank you so much for your attention and it's been a pleasure to be presenting. Thank you, Eva. Uh, thank you, Fatem Zahra, for this great uh, collaboration and I hope that you will try uh, projects-based learning, especially at this time of crisis in which we need to get together. We need to uh, focus on our, on our and our students' well-being. And well-being uh, is uh, simply uh, uh, self-achievement and contributing to the community in an ineffective way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Karima. Thank you, Fatima. That was really interesting. And actually, I didn't know about some of those uh, applications. And I'd like to have some kind of research on Storybird, because yesterday we had an interview, online interview with a teacher from Ukraine. And she told us that she would like to start using Storybird as well. So I'd like to dive into it a bit later. Yeah, um, I can see that we don't have any questions, but um, if it's possible, could we share your presentation with our participants, like to send yeah, them an right. email? Yeah, and there yeah, they can sure. find out the links, uh, to check all okay. those applications you've for shared. Sure, for sure. Yeah, thank you. So <laughs> this is the, yeah, thank you. We have Daniela Dimitrova. Thank you, Daniela, for your thank you, actually. Yeah. <laughs> very pleasant. Yeah, and um, what I'd like you to know that for me it was really useful. Thank you for spending your time on preparation as well as thank on you. delivering this kind of information because as I understand, everything is based on your personal teaching experience. And yeah. this is really important. Yeah. yeah, if you'd like to share those videos, because we had some kind of problems, so please send them to me and I will share the videos with our participants as well. Yeah? Okay, okay, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And Thanks a I lot, ladies. Yeah. I would like to say something mm -hmm. in the end. I would like uh, to express my special thanks to the person, the amazing person who brought us together with Eva, our guru, <laughs> yeah. Paul Harvey, who, who is my trainer and my best friend, and from whom I've learned, I've been learning a lot. And thanks to him, I've been uh, um, developing and improving not only in in, in, my, in my career as a teacher, but also as a person. So big, big, big. Uh, love to Paul uh, life. So thank, thank you. you so much, Paul. Thank you so, so much, Eva, also for your amazing collaboration and this opportunity to present uh, to our colleagues from the globe. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, ladies. So, guys, see you next time. Um, as soon as we can announce our next webinar, we'll send you an email. Anyway, I have to remind you, if you are dreaming about taking the IELTS instructor course, please knock our door and we'll open it. And also don't forget about that amazing workshop that we can have on next Wednesday. Thank, Thank you, you Amar. Thank you, bye-bye. See you. Goodbye. Thank you. See you.